Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Have a blessed morning. And thank you guys for all your support. Thank you very much, it's well appreciated. Yes, I have um, today an update on um, the lady that Auntie Dana. Um, um, some of you probably haven't watched the other video. I was talking in the other video about um, on Sunday, Auntie Dana um, went to this restaurant and there was this lady at the restaurant who was begging for eat and left. And um, Dana gave her some money, fill her plate with food and um, to, for her children. Because she said she has six children, but only three younger ones living with her. And um, she's also not well. Um, I think she said she was diabetic and um, some things was bursting out on her skin. Right, so um, yesterday I was watching Miss D and Miss D um, brought a phone for her because she also said she didn't have a number, a contact number because um, Miss D wanted to contact her but she didn't. So Miss D um, brought a phone for her from her pocket, her own pocket. She didn't ask for donors help or anything she brought that phone for the lady and um she um, she set up an account or something at rushmar hardware for those who want to donate groceries so that she can carry along with the phone the groceries and i am um, that is that is in, in itself it's good but we also have to remember this lady is ill as well she has diabetes and diabetes has to do with, you know, some people inherit it. I mean, it's in the bloodline while some people because of what you eat, your diet. So we have to be careful what we feed this lady on. So if you can donate food and donate some good looking stuff, you know, um, she's not supposed to really consume a lot of starch. Uh, in the process, the starch break down to sugar and and diabetes the sugar level in our blood can be very high could could be very bad for her so you could donate some healthy stuff as well along with some other stuff for the kids and um what i um still amaze me you know in my little ja you know this really amazed me i mean before auntie dana um i like this lady this lady is living in a community she has kids because she's not a homeless person she says she has children young children living with her so that means she's living within a community what about our community help we don't help each other anymore you didn't have to reach to this for her to go to the restaurant thank the restaurant for allowing this lady to come and beg food she wasn't begging money or anything she was just begging food we we are supposed to be our brother's keeper we don't show love anymore what about one one cocoa full basket huh in our 876 this is our community people help we can't leave everything on the government the government cannot see all or everybody right we are the nation we build up the nation each community should help one another look out for your one another be a community be a brother's keeper be a community and each one of us made up our community so you must have known that this lady is cannot find food for herself and her kids young ch young children at that you must have known that and hence, listen, the lady, you shouldn't have reached that far for the lady to go at a super, at a, a restaurant to beg food. I know things are very difficult. I know things are very, very difficult right now. Economically, things are difficult all over and um, added the pandemic makes it even worse but it can't be that difficult it cannot be that difficult for you to take a, a plate of food some 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 food that you cook 
for yourself and take some for your neighbor. It cannot be that difficult. No. It cannot be that bad. Listen. Giving is a blessing. The more you give, the more you get. It's better, in the Bible it says, it's better, to it's better to give than to receive. And the Bible can't go wrong. Because if you don't inherit it, you might not get the, but the blessing from the person who you gave to. But, most time what normal, let me say, happens. And when you did and pass on gone, your children and your grandchildren inherit the blessing. That's why you say some people are prosper, some family are prosper. So, uh, because then great and great 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 grandmother or their mother used to do the blessing falls on your kids you understand you never had to reach this far for you to come on social media that this lady was begging eat and left never had to because she lives in a community she have neighbors huh what about let me read a scripture to you can you must think this I come from me it's not coming from me my dear let me read a scripture to you. Let me read a scripture to you. And this scripture is taken from Mark 12, 30, verse 30 to 31. And thou shall, and thou shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, mind. And with all thy strength, this is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely, this thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment, commandment greater than these. You see, we have ten commandments. And the first, you love thy God with all your might and, and, and soul. And the second, love thy neighbor as yourself. That is very important. You see where you fall, Anna? The second, after you love God with all your might, you don't love nobody else like how you love God. This is the second one. Love your neighbor as thyself. So God may make sure put it at the second because this is important. If you love yourself, yes, if you love yourself, you, you are not going to torture yourself. You're not going to go to bed hungry. You're not going to do evil things to yourself. You understand? And God said love. He never, he never make no comparison to other something where you must love yourself to. Him say your neighbor. Because if you love your neighbor, you're not going to hurt your neighbor. And you're going to make sure your neighbor heat. You understand? You're going to make sure your neighbor have something. Because you must see in the community so this lady don't have anything. And her children don't have anything to eat. I'm talking, I'm speaking about the community right now. You understand? You must have seen this in the community. And if you do have love for yourself and for your neighbor, this wouldn't have happened. One, one, coca, one neighbor down the road. Come, as I said, things are very hard. But one neighbor down the road, you put something, one next one put something, and one next one put something, and care go get this lady. Eh? The lady there after a beg eat and left. You know what um, um, bacteria eat and left, eat and left, pile up, pile up, pile up, pile up. Huh? That can't be healthy within itself it, um, either. You understand? If you love your neighbor by yourself, you're not going to hurt your neighbor. So God makes sure put this at the second out of ten commandments. This at the second. The first, you love God more than you love anybody else. And this at the second one. Love your neighbor like yourself. Because when you love yourself, because some people love themselves so much in love with themselves, they now go hurt themselves. You understand me? So, therefore, if you love your neighbor like how you love you, you're not going to make sure, you're not going to hurt your neighbor. You understand me? You're not going to hurt your neighbor. And you're going to make sure your neighbor being fed because you see. And children are involved. Huh? Young kids at that are involved. And the ladies hill. And I said, I want me to see um, Miss D put the phone on her when she walk across the road. The lady can only walk. 
you know when you have diabetes, everything now work, you know. Your kidney, your heart, your this, your that, all kind of something I brought down, you know. All kind of something I brought down, you know. When you have diabetes, it's not an easy disease. You understand me? And it's a very expensive disease as well. Because you have to know it all after dealing with the diet. And then she have to um, resort to eating anything. This made the disease even worse. You understand me? This made the disease even worse. So I'm so happy that um, Auntie Dana highlighted this story. Um, God placed Auntie Dana. Oh my God. Jesus. God placed. That's what I tell you. You see when you're down, there's always somebody. God always put somebody to lift you up. He always put somebody. You can't be down and out. He always put somebody. And she was there and God put Auntie Dana right there for see this lady. Because since nobody in our community no see what go on. Because they must have to see. They must have to see. And it hurt me. They must have to see. You know blind? Days on top of days she come there. You know see. You know know the situation in the community. You understand me? Not if I talk the whole of Jamaica, I talk the community that this lady is living in. We must be our brother's keeper, man. We want to see, you know, the community. And God sent Auntie Dana to highlight this story. That's what I tell you. God, you're really God. Huh? Let's, if God never sent Auntie Dana to highlight this story, this woman would be continue. Nobody's here. Then, then turn a blind eye. Then give the eat and left, and 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 that's it. Eh? And this lady getting healer and healer because um of the type of food she's eating. Cause the disease where she have, you know, supposed to eat any and anything. Cause any and anything can make it even worse and you die fast. Huh? God make and put Dana, eh? That's what I said. Dana is a blessing, but Dana alone cannot do it. She alone cannot see what is going on in Jamaica. She alone cannot do it. Just like how the government cannot do it alone. We are supposed to be our brother's keeper. That's what they boil along to. We are supposed to be our brother's keeper. Love him or she like we love ourselves. Love your neighbors. The government can't see all in the community. Donna can't come at every community. Boy, we are the we who are living in the community can help our less fortunate. Things will be better. No care how hard it is. Something like food. Now if a parent, if she a parent or whatever. But something like food in a supposed to did read so far. And the lady has children, young children too, where eat, people eat and left as well. You know, supposed to reach that shame. Me, eh? what become in in in, a, in a, um to our local JA? We will love each other so much. Eh? Don't let the the love go. Don't. I may have another scripture to read for you guys. And this is John thirteen verse thirty four. A new commandment I give unto you, that he love one another as I have loved you, that he also love one another. So you see, we must love one another like how God love we. And we can't say we love Jesus who we can't see. And eat our brothers who we can't see. We are hypocrite. I mean... Some people are hard to love. I'm not. I'm. I'm not kidding. I'm not go, going on like some Miss Perfect here. No, I'm not Miss Perfect. Some people are really hard to love because they might have done you things in the past and maybe still doing you things. Yeah. But I'm not perfect here. This is something I. I too. I'm struggling with. But I ask God. You cannot do it without God's help. That's the point. You cannot do it. We are all flesh. We cannot do it without God's help. And with God's help, it will help you to heal and help you to love. You know, to drop off certain things gradually. You understand? 
But we need to be our brother's keeper, man. We need to be our brother's keeper. Look out for the, those in the community. Look out for the less, less fortune in the community. I mean, some community may not have a less fortune, you know, a person, you know, live um, below their means. You know, some community are, um, you know, fortunate not to have that. But most community do have. You have a single mother there, although she's working. A single father as well, although he's, he, although he's working. But sometimes they still cannot manage. So if you can stretch your out here on one and two and, and, and help. You have the old lady down the road. When on a body I can't look for her. Um, I pick them abandon her. Or the whole man down the road. There must be something you can do to help your community. And it all boils down a community may I talk about me not talk the whole of Jamaica if everybody in Jamaica help the community that they are living in just like what Dana is helping her community she started with Mountain View and then she goes to different people um, different places but if everybody help their community that they are in trust me it will be better because I'm saying the government cannot see everything in the community no matter which governments are in they cannot know what is really going on in the community is the individual person who are living in the community knows what's going on and they can assist as community you go to the next neighbor and say no master my master Joe, or whatever miss elena or whatever down the road let we pool together and see if we can help and if not, you see if you can get assistance from the government or something, but do something. This never had to reach this far. And I'm um, shame to know that this highlighted something like food. You're not supposed to reach so far, man. You're not supposed to reach so far. Mm -mm. And this story really, really, really touched me. Touched me bad. You understand? Because on a session they beg money because some of them, you know, they stay there and they beg money and then say, they're not if I beg you, they eat and left. Then I beg you, say, buy miss, buy me a food, no? Cause them know say so they don't want nobody eat and left. Miss, buy me a food, no? Give me two dollar or give me two hundred dollars for buy a food, no? She's not even asking for that, she's asking for some eat and left. Hmm? Never have to reach for her and she's not a mad person. And she has kids. She have the bowl that she's fooling up with the eater and left. Forgot carry. You know much bacteria in that? Hmm? You know much germs in that? You wouldn't want to eat that. I wouldn't want to eat that. Huh? You never have to reach so far. You never have to reach so far. No. So I'm um, asking each community help each other, help your neighbor. Help your neighbor, love your neighbor, neighbor as thyself. Because when you love yourself, you're not going to hurt yourself. And yes, you're not going to hurt yourself, you know. So love your neighbor as thyself. Look out for each. Let us be our brother's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. Each one help each one. And we will have a better JA and we will also have a better world. Because this does not only go for JA, but for the world. If we can love each other, love conquers all. Yeah. And that's all God has ever really asked in the Bible. When you love, you're not going to hurt. When you love somebody, you're not going to hurt them, you know. Nope. When you spread love, you're not gonna hurt. When you when you love somebody, you're not gonna you don't want to hurt that person, because what you love that person, so you're not going to want to hurt the person. So the same thing. I know maybe it's difficult at times, but at least with God's help, everything is um, is possible. Yep. Everything is possible with God's help. And I must applaud Dana again 
for highlighting this story and I can't wait for the lady to get the phone because Auntie Dana says she, she will not be collecting any money because charity is finished. Fair enough. She needs time for herself and to do other things. So fair enough. So she bought the phone for the lady and as soon as the lady gets the phone and so forth and the number is out, I would be one of the first person to call this lady and donate. So y'all can donate to the lady because as I say, diabetes is not an easy disease. It's, it's an expensive disease. Very, very expensive because the type of things we're supposed to eat, eat is very costly. And you, you, you need to eat less starch and if you have less starch, you have to have this a particular one here and that the particular one here and more vegetables and fruits and this and that and all these things. All the goodies that you're supposed to eat, they are very, very expensive. Expensive where I am now, uh, especially, it's very, it is expensive to eat properly. So, this lady not only needs food, she needs um, medical attention, SAP, because she says she's breaking out or whatever because she has the diabetes. So she needs she need medical attention. So those of you, when the number is out and everything, call the lady, give her a word of encouragement. If you can't donate anything, give a word of encouragement. All right? And love thy neighbor as thyself. And that's all I have to say. You have a beautiful day. And bye-bye.